here is one of the graphs that we already know, the 1 over x graph. That was our blue page. So in your head, when you see 1 over x, I would want you to be able to switch between algebra and graphically in your head. So I see the algebra, and in my head, I don't, you wouldn't have had to draw it out, but in my head, I have this picture, and I would say, I know there was an asymptote here and an asymptote there, and the key points that I know are 1, 1 and negative 1, negative 2. So each of those colored pages, if you don't have those graphs in your head yet, that's something I want you to do as homework as well. Take a look at those and say, do I remember what the x cubed graph is? Can I, do I know three important points on that? Do I know three important points on my square root graph? On all of them. The absolute value one is, I mean, the rational graph is the only one where you need two points and two attributes. So you have that in your head. And that graph got moved three units to the left and two units up. What is the new equation? So all they're asking for us is the new equation. We don't have to graph it, but now that you've graphed this one, would it be hard to move it three to the left? Can you see that the asymptote would move three to the left? That green point, each of the green points would move three to the left. And then when you move it two units up, the horizontal asymptote would move up to y equals two, and the points would move up as well. So graphing it wouldn't be hard, but the equation, what would it look like? Again, we know left and right happen inside the function. Inside the function here is where the x was. So I'm going to put brackets on the bottom. You wouldn't need these brackets. But I'm just going to put brackets to say that's where the x was. Now what do I have? 3 to the left, I would have an x plus 3 instead of the x. So moving left and right, when you have the actual equation changes what the x was. The x was just an x. Now that x is an x plus 3 because you moved it 3 to the left. Moving up and down is outside of the function. So if I moved it up two units, that happens afterwards plus 2. So what we're doing here is we're learning some general rules, and these general rules work in all sorts of situations. So if you learn the simple pattern of the general rule, then you should be able to apply it to all situations, and that's the idea. Wait, right, questions for this one? 12, 13, 14, and 15. 